All right, what is going on? Welcome back to the YouTube. So we have meal two here. You would have seen meal one, my little morning routine montage. So calories right now on a train day about 5,200. I'll do a rest day at some stage. Rest day is 4,600 anyways. It's the exact same, just less of it. Uh, so training day right now is 5,200 calories. Uh, this is my meal too. I'm doing six meals right now, just with the amount of food I'm getting in. And near the end of prep, I started doing six meals as well, just spacing them out. And as per my schedule right now, it actually really, really suits me. At some stage, my, if my food is a little bit lower, you know, when I'm kind of in between gaining phases, anything like that, I might come down to five meals, but for now, six meals is actually working really, really well. Hunger, appetite right now, it's pretty, pretty manageable. First couple of weeks, of course, it is gonna be pretty high, but obviously, you know, my food is pretty high as well, so it was only a matter of kind of days and weeks before I kind of leveled out and stabilized and kind of became, you know, just, just as it would be in a, a normal push-up. Um, so meal two here, actually meal one, was 60 grams of whey, two bananas, 140 grams of banana, and 40 grams of almond butter, and a little bit of coconut milk as well. Uh, I have that at 6 a.m., it's now 8 a.m., this is meal two, which is 175 grams uncooked white chicken, 170 grams uncooked white rice, which is about 425 grams cooked white rice, and then 135 pineapple, which is just half of the can, for ease sake, and obviously salt, and then some, some barbecue sauce. Um, so, spoiler alert, this meal and the next three meals are the exact same. So, you know, this is this is all we're working with here. Uh, right now, this amount of rice is actually quite enjoyable for me. You know, I know 425 grams cooked, it's a, it's a good amount of rice, but digestion, digestion is actually really, really good. This is going down absolutely fine. At some stage, my, if my appetite isn't as good, you know, if I'm not, you know, more than happy to eat this much rice, I'll go ahead and kind of sub it out for a little bit more fruit, probably some, some raisins in my post-workout, honey, more banana, that kind of stuff. You know, real food, but just slightly more calorie dense food, uh, and obviously just getting the food down with a little bit less volume. But that'll come when my appetite is a little bit less. But as of now, this is going in absolutely fine. I'm more than happy to eat kind of this volume for each and every meal, uh, and it's not kind of affecting digestion. I'm not like overdoing the volume eating with you know stupid amounts of veg or any of this kind of other stupid things people do. But yeah, gonna get this in. Gonna get a shower, a cold shower, and then I'm gonna walk alone out to work. I come back. Next meal is at 10, and then training at about 11, half 11. All right, as expected, meal three, the very same as meal two. So, as you can see, this is gonna get pretty, pretty repetitive, but I'm gonna do my best to just make this as exciting as possible. But, you know, this is the reality of it. I think accepting and knowing that you probably will have to eat the same foods is a good thing. I think trying to have five or six you know, entirely different, you know, fantastic, exciting, overly complicated meals every single day it's just going to wear you out it's going to drain you you know so all my meals are based around digestibility obviously what i need to consume in terms of you know macro breakdown but then as well you know digestibility and just convenience you know we only have so much time in the day and you know say if you are say a normal person eating you know two or three times a day and it was just kind of eating at your convenience you know getting something in the shop you know that's easy that doesn't take a whole lot of time if it's on your your break at lunch it might kind of involve you know some socializing as well with your work peers however you know if you're having five or six meals that's a that's a decent amount of time throughout the day so if you have to either even prep each meal individually or even if you say have kind of half of it prepared and you're kind of putting it together you know let's say you take 10 15 20 minutes per meal that's a good amount of time gone throughout your day so making your meals obviously hit what you need to hit in terms of macros calories etc tick the box in terms of digestibility obviously eating you know good quality nutritious food but then as well actually be time efficient as well you know in a diet maybe if you want to kind of spend more time prepping your food i know that's a thing i i sometimes you know sometimes in a diet I'll, I'll kind of cook these meals individually you know kind of freshly cooked chicken you know get some veg in there as well everything's nice and warm nice and fresh but as of now you know even for the majority of the, the prep just gone i didn't really feel the need to do that everything was kind of just you know is this what i need to be eating yes is this time efficient yes and that's kind of how i based you know laying out my day um, so yeah gonna get this in uh, we are training about an hour hour and a half so this will be well and digested by then uh, side note, I have about four, four liters of water, uh, two coffees in as well, and I'll have some more water uh, pre-workout as well, so just an idea of how much water we're consuming. So yeah.
What's all fun? I'm in first year. You're in last year. You're in first year. <laughs> if you're not first, you're last. Yes, push went down. As expected, the exact same meal, 175 chicken, 170 jasmine, 135 pineapple, salt, and a barbecue sauce. Really enjoying barbecue sauce recently. Um, it's just it's just the one, I just don't get bored of it. That with the pineapple as well, you know, the barbecue, the sweet, really goes but together well. So, <clears throat> really good push session put down, push session put down. Uh, really, really happy with how things are moving. You know, everything's staying nice and fresh. I thought I was going to be kind of coming up to a, a needed D volume around now just because obviously post prep the kind of strength ramps up super super quick but I actually feel pretty fresh with uh, the MK which Mark, Mark Hodson, Mark Fitz and Darren Mack are competing in uh, next Saturday, not this one coming, I'll have that day off and that's actually legs as well so I might run three days of rest back to back just kind of depending on how I feel as a, a mini D volume, as obviously just kind of lines up well, coincidentally with that. So that should kind of freshen me up for the, the rest of this rebound. Should be able to kind of ride it right the way through. And then if needed, you know, the first or second week post rebound, taking just a D volume week there, and just kind of coming coming down to a baseline, and just making sure everything is all good, fresh and ready. But uh, yeah, gonna get this in, gonna get a shower, and do the final bits of work that I have to do today. Then I have this meal again. Uh, and then I'll go to Ali, I'll collect Lorna from work, and we have our final meal, which is different. So I will show you that. But um, yeah. All right, what is going on? So this full day of eating is gonna be exactly, you know, riveting. There's not gonna be a whole lot of variety going on. So I'll make it as valuable as possible. I'm gonna explain why I do certain things the way I do certain things, okay? So uh, when you're eating, you know, five or six meals a day, you know, if that takes you 15, 20, 30 minutes to prep, cook, you know, cook and eat each meal, that's a whole lot of time kind of gone out of your day and your time is pretty valuable, you know? So, and I and I work from home as well. So if you were had to get, getting out of the house for work, whether it be, you know, in an office or even on the move all day, it would only make more sense for you to have, you know, better control of your, your meal prep and just kind of your time management around your meal prep. So you'll see all my meals are pretty, pretty boring and as, as well, pretty, pretty easy to just put together. But, you know, I do enjoy them and, and that's the main thing. If I was to try and make every single meal, you know, this big culinary mishmash, you know, super, super flavorsome, like I was making a dinner for someone, you know, like a nice dinner, it's just really going to be, it's going to eat into my time availability throughout the day. And that's not to say I'm working for 16 hours a day because I'm not, but I do spend a lot of time working and I do like to have 
downtime to actually reset and actually wind down from that work. And more than likely, if I was spending 20 or 30 minutes prepping, cooking, and eating each meal, I probably would have a lot less wind down time. So it would, I would just be working right the way through. It would be work, a decent chunk of time, prepping, cooking, eating each meal, and just working in between. And then my, my kind of wind down time would just be pushed back further and further. So having control of your time and kind of time management, just being good at time management in general, is, is a skill applicable you know, across many different fields, many different areas of life, literally every field of life. You know, time is very, very finite. Not to say, you know, you have to have it all done right now, but it helps, you know. No one really care. like, I don't really care, unless it's a, a nice dinner that I'm cooking. I don't really care about the meals that I'm eating. They're pretty easy to make them taste good. Put barbecue sauce on them. Season them. Cajun seasoning from Aldi. Easy. How much more do you really want? So investing in things like you know a rice cooker, an air fryer, uh, a, a blender, I was going to say a smoothie maker, aka a blender, uh, these things will save you a little bit of time here and there. They might cost you know, 50, 60, but an air fryer could be you know, 100 and whatever quid if you get a fancy one, but you can get them for cheap and they do the job, right? So it's going to save you time and consider that a time investment because it is money spent for time that you will get back. You know, you just put it in, click the button, done you wait for it to be finished you hear a beep you go out and get it you know if that's just you lying down after you know a long day at work where you just get a bit more time to chill out and you hear a beep you go and throw your food in a tupperware for the next day great fantastic you know you've gotten back maybe 30 40 minutes and that's time you can either be spent if you, if you were, did want to do any extra work or you wanted to just relax there you go you know it, it, that's time saved so money invested time saved so it's a it's a worthwhile investment as well as that, probably just putting in a small bit of effort into learning how to cook stuff in the first place. Uh, rice, for example, I see still a lot of people using microwave packets of rice, which, you know, from a finance perspective, you're having three or four rice meals a day. I think those jasmine, uh, tilde jasmine packs could be like two pounds, two euro. Uh, that's pretty expensive, you know. Uh, so just get like, you know, 20 kg bag of jasmine rice, learn how to rinse it, wash it, you know, what temperature to put it on if you're putting it on the hob. And, you know, you're going to save time there. So it's, it's time invested to get time back, you know. So consider it an investment. You know, buying an air fryer, investment, time returned. Uh, putting in time to learn how to cook and handle stuff. Time invested, time returned, you know. Uh, kind of cleaning as you go. These kind of things, these kind of basic household things um, that I, I didn't used to do have saved me a lot of time. So it's, it's very, very worthwhile. So I would have done a story a couple of couple of days ago kind of memeing the whole you know protein pudding and how real food is a, a trend in the fitness industry right now obviously you know that's just kind of playing it up it's a joke whatever but I, I do think it's something people should kind of you know, take into consideration you know if you're seeking out these overly processed foods over just kind of plain whole single ingredient food that you know is good for you that you know kind of where it's coming from granted you know chicken breast is pumped full of this and your mince is eating that in you know cage or whatever you know, it's still as close as you can get to, you know, knowing exactly what you're eating. If you want to raise a couple of cows and chickens and go, you know, proper old school, cool, fantastic. I would love to do that. But it's this is kind of the closest we can get. So I think it is worthwhile. You know, I, for one, wouldn't feel very good physically eating too many processed foods. Even bread, I have no bread, uh, no real gluten in my uh, normal diet, except for kind of any kind of trace low gluten that would be in rice or, or oats or anything like that. But I'm not having any crazy amounts of pasta, I have no pasta at all, I have no bread. I'll have bread when I do a nice breakfast on the weekend or if I'm cooking dinner and there's bread in it, garlic bread or something. But other than that, you know, for what I'm trying to do here, overall it just doesn't shoot, it just doesn't really make sense. So kind of identifying what you're actually trying to do, whether that be, you know, how, how good you feel, want to feel your performance in the gym or, you know, your visual, your physique or you know obviously all three which is kind of what i'm going for i want to be able to get through my work i want to be able to sleep well i want to be you know coherent not bloated tired lethargic obviously i want to perform well in the gym obviously i want to recover well from those high performing sessions and then obviously i want that to translate into my physique so it, you know those things take a lot more precedence over me just slamming bagels and you know loads of pasta and uh, processed foods which you know i only enjoy kind of uh, once a week and I do enjoy them. I'm not demonizing them. They all taste great. I love bread. If you could give me a loaf of bread and a, a block of Kerrygold, I would do it, you know, I'd tear it up live. So 
I'm not demonizing them. I'm not saying they're not good. I'm just saying prioritize, you know, physique, cognitive ability, you know, performance, recovery, you know, just all out flavor, just all out enjoyment, you know, just hedonism, just how much can I enjoy everything right now, you know, in, in kind of at the, at the cost of my future self or at the cost of my current self, you know, uh, if I had a loaf of bread right now, probably not going to be doing any more work for the day. I'm probably going to be sleeping. So, yeah. All right, meal five here, all rice consumed. I don't really feel the need to uh, sit down and explain what this meal is, but quick hack, right? Get yourself one of these bad boys and just, you know, fucking chop that shit up. If you were to just throw whole pieces, like a whole chicken breast in here, chop that up as well. Throw some lettuce in here, chop that up. Nice and easy. Digestion hack. So I'm gonna get this in. Meal six is different than the rest of my meals, so I will show you that. All right, nice timing here. We got our monthly my core order. Just the just the health subs and then a, a pre workout for for Jim. I know he likes this one. Supposedly this is a, a good daily driver as they call it. But yeah, just a two serve two bottles of Love Heart and. Mega Farmer Pro. I'm still running a, a double serve of these at AM and PM for now. Nice little naughty boy shaker as well. So this will last me a month. So yeah. All right, final meal. We have 150 grams of oats, 60 grams of whey, and 40 grams of the best almond butter. We've tried them all. We've tried them all. And this is the best, most consistent, all the time, daily driver, fantastic stuff. So, if you enjoyed the full day of eating, like, comment, subscribe. I know all the meals were the exact same, but this is real, real bodybuilding. So yeah, me and Lauren are gonna eat these oats. Lauren is on the oats as well. She's off the cream of rice, on the oats. We're gonna watch Ted. We got through about 20 minutes of it last night, so we're gonna get another 20 minutes in it tonight. And then I'm gonna fall asleep.